In this video, I'm going to show you the secret to color grade your lock footage and turn it into a cinematic masterpiece filmic look in just seconds. Yeah, literally just seconds. And before you ask, yes, shameless plug, I'm gonna use my LUTs to get that style. I've put a lot of effort into creating and tweaking these LUTs over years of travel. And now I can't wait to show them to you and can't wait for you to try them if you want. I noticed that a lot of these color grading tutorials on YouTube uh, feels a little bit complicated. So I wanted to do like a simple one, easy to follow, quick and super simple. Now, quick reminder, if your camera can shoot and log, uh, let's say you have a Sony, a Canon, a Fuji, whatever the brand you have, you should definitely use Log because uh, you will get the most dynamic range out of your camera sensor. Now, I know that your log footage looks like a black and white movie from the 60s, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. All right, first step, you need to convert your log footage into a standard color space like Rec. 709. You can do this manually by simply, let's say, going to um, the wheel curve and boost saturation, lower the shadows, bring the highlights up a little bit and drag down the mint tones or by using your camera brand's official uh, log to Rec. 709 LUT. You can find that on their website usually. But the thing is for Canon, I don't like their Rec. 709 LUT. So what I did is that I created my own Rec. 709 LUT. It's available on my Nomad LUT collection pack. So by the way, all these clips that I'm going to show you today are shot with my Canon R6 Mark II in C-Log3 a cinema gamut. So the first thing I do is that I go in video here, I type LUT and double click two times on this to get two LUTs. The first one is going to be my uh, C-Log3 to Rec. 709 LUT. This is just going to convert my log footage into a normal color space. So as you can see, this is looking already pretty good. The colors are good, the skin tones are good. It's not too much saturated, but let me show you the real magic here. This might be the easiest way to get the cinematic look. So I applied another custom LUT effect right under the Rec. 709 conversion LUT, and that's where I pick my creative look. For this one, I'm gonna go with um, jungle mood and boom there you go in just seconds I get the cinematic look with rich colors just the way I like it I really like what it does with the skin tones I really like what it does to you know the, the greens and there's a little bit of warm in the highlights also so if you love this look you will love my new LUTs collection I've put together nine filmic look that will work with any camera brands Canon Sony Nikon Lumix these are all giving you that cinematic filmic look with rich color that I love so much and you can use that on your travel films you can use it on I don't know lifestyle videos or whatever you want to use it basically it's the look that I wish I had when I first started color grading I've been working on these LUTs for over a year and they're finally available on my website they're on sale right now so if you want to grab a copy and support what I do I'll have a link in the description below I'm very proud of what I created and I'm really excited for you to try them out so a lot will get you 80% of the job done sometimes you need to tweak a little bit the clip after applying these LUTs so for example on this image right here I'm going to apply my rec to 709 conversion LUT and then let's say I'm going to apply Fuji and you see the image is like a little bit overexposed. So what I do is that I will add a color adjustment layer and I'm going to slide that on top here. This is crazy actually. I don't believe anyone talks about this, but this highlight slider right here is such a game changer compared to other sliders in Final Cut Pro because uh, let's say, let's say I disable this and I go and create a wheel, a color wheel. And let's say I bring down the highlights. You see how it affects also the mid-tones, but when I use the color adjustment, it only affects the highlights. Like you get the most dynamic range out of this slider, I think. I don't know, this is the way I feel about it. Nobody talks about this highlight slider. I don't get it, but it's perfect. I use it all the time and I love it. You get to recover a lot of highlights and it's, it's really nice. Anyways, just don't forget to put it on top of like the two lots because if you put it on the bottom right here you see it doesn't have the same effect and the highlight looks weird this when you apply it on top it only affects like your log footage at the base of your log footage anyways now that we brought the highlights down 
I feel like the image is really beautiful like this. This is the before and this is the after. It's really beautiful. You can also tweak it a little bit more if you want. Maybe you can add a little bit of contrast with the curve. Let's say like this. Before and after. So here's the before and after of the same footage, same camera, but completely different feel once it's graded properly. All right, guys, so let's wrap up. Step one, you need to convert your log footage to Rec. 709. Step two, create your desired look. You can use my lots or you can color grade on your own. And step three, the final adjustment. You can tweak the colors, the white balance, the brightness, the contrast, saturation, anything you want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you want to try my lots, the Nomad Lux collection, the link is in the description below. And if you just picked it up, well, now you know how to use it. So thank you and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. See you.